Hi, my name is Alex and I'm from Zap Digital Marketing. I'm taking the liberty to create this report for you uh, because I see that your website could improve, has a lot of room for improvement. And I'm going to be showing you three simple things uh, that I believe are going to help your website to get more clients and get exposure that, that your business needs. So I'm going to be talking about, like I said, three, three specific things. The first one is going to be content, the second one is going to be keywords, and the third one is going to be backlinks. Really uh, simple and to the point. So I have your website here, and like I said, the first thing that I'm going to recommend is to add more relevant content. Why content is so important? Because when you add content, you got to make sure that you add keywords. But that you have to do a keyword research and see what keywords are actually people looking for. For example, HVAC services in Staten Island, HVAC services uh, New York, New Jersey, things like that. Depending on the target that you that your service area is, um, when you add content, you gotta make sure it's relevant. And I keep saying it because I uh, there's a big chance that most people just want to take the short road and just copy and paste the thing is that google analyzes your website and they actually read through all this everything that is readable everything that is text they read through all this and it would be ideal if a human being would be actually reading but because there's thousands and thousands of um, websites uploaded every day they have to come up with a something much e uh, way uh, something much easier way to to analyze uh, websites right so they have like a uh, software that analyzes everything and when they read all this they try to understand what kind of keywords are you trying to target so that's the first thing i don't see that you have that much content here and uh, besides this uh, what i believe uh, will be a, a keyword i don't have anything else here so my recommendation will be to um you should add more content on the home page uh, the rule of thumb in my experience would be between 1800 and 2200 words of content. Um, and then same principle applies to uh, the sub pages. For example, let's see what you have here in air conditioning. Same, you only have like a couple of paragraphs here and nothing relevant on keywords. So again, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this tool that I use, it's called Ahrefs. This picks data from your website based on Google criteria. So we can see here that you're only being found for 34 keywords and you have only 52 backlinks. Now, what are backlinks? Backlinks are other website or websites, other sites that are mentioning your business name on your website, and this will give you power so you can be found on Google. Think about the popularity contest, right? The more people you get to talk about you in a positive way, the more relevant you're gonna become, the more relevant you are going to stay. Same thing happen, uh, happens here with backlinks. With the difference that not all links are created equal, so you can have bad links like spammy links um, uh, and coming from not relevant websites and things like that. So very, very, um, very important to understand. It's not about the quantity; it's about the quality of the link because you can have thousands and thousands of bad links, but if they're not powerful, if they if they are not relevant, and most important, if they're not targeting the keywords that you should uh, have based on the content that your website has, you're not gonna see the result that you probably are hoping to get, right? So that being said, let's see what kind of keywords are you being found for based on the content that you have and based on those backlinks that are supporting your website. So let's give it a second. Okay, so we have ICB, with, um, I believe it might be your branding name. Uh, we have this one, Enterprise Staten Island. Um, not really sure that they're going to bring you any clients, but they're uh, in your ranking number one. That means that you're getting 13 visits every month because there's 40 searches a month. So, oops, so you get the, uh, the idea right here. Uh, there's one that I saw right here. Let's see where these are. There you go. Staten Island HVAC. There's 300 searches a month. I mean, that's just probably 300 people searching this uh, every month. And because you're on the 57th position, you're not getting any, any, any traffic at all. None of those searches are landing on your website. So 
Uh, let's take this as an example. Let's take this keyword. Let's go to Google. And if we type it, the first thing we're going to see here is this guarantee by Google. You pay to be there. Um, I don't see any Google ads, but it might be because of the time. It's 924 on my, here in New Jersey. So um, the next thing we, we see here is the, uh, the map section. And if you have a Google profile, you can definitely be here. But you, on your profile, you need to optimize content, optimize images. And if you have any Google reviews, you need to reply to those reviews because that's what Google is looking for. Uh, next, we have the organic session. And on number one, we have this bovmems.com. Let's see why they're ranking number one, why, and what are the benefits of that. So if we open their website, you can see here that they have a lot of content. These guys definitely, definitely know what they're doing because uh, we have content here. You can see that they're tagging this specific keyword here. Um, they have more content here, content here, uh, so they they understand what content is, uh, and this is not bad news because if you if you want to compete with these guys for those uh, f to to rank in, in those Google searches for that specific keyword, you just have to analyze how, what kind of um, keywords they're targeting and the content that they have. So if they, let's say they have 1,500 words of content, you should have at least more than uh, 2,000 words of content, and that will give that will be the first step for you to start competing, right? Um, that being said, let's see what kind of uh, the back end of their website. Um, let me pull up here, and they're being found for 2,000 keywords. That's quite a lot, and that's because they have a lot of content, right? They have only uh, around 870 backlinks, and you can see that this is not really affecting the, the domain reading. Um, but not to worry about because they're ranking number one, so at this point, it doesn't really matter. And like I was telling you, it's not about the quantity, even though there's, there's a lot for this amount of backlinks, this range should be way higher, but uh, we're not going to go through that right now. So let's see what kind of keywords are they being found for. We saw that for Staten Island, it's back to ranking number one, so there you go. This is not uh, updated, but we can see here, Staten Island, it's back, uh, 300 searches a month. Because they're ranking in the top position, top three to uh, top three to four, they're getting 34 visits just on that keyword. Those are 34 chances they get every month to get uh, clients. Um, then we have HVAC, Staten Island. This is a variation. Uh, another 300 cents a month, but you see the difficulty changes, so it's a little bit different. And uh, if you were to be running Google Ads, this is what the, they're paying for each one of those, uh, an average for one uh, for each click. And because they're ranking again, top five position, or at least in the first section, they're getting another 29 visits a month. So that combined this, uh, you're getting over, what, 60 something uh, visits. So you get the idea. Um, you can do the same thing. You're not limited to any any amount of our keywords is just about understanding which keywords will be beneficial for your website and which keywords are actually going to be um, bringing you uh, the clients that you want to reach out that they're looking for your services and you want to be part of their um, of their solution um, I don't want to take too much of the time so I hope you find this information useful to recap really quick you need to improve content you need, to, you need to understand what kind of keywords do you want to target based on the volume search, based on the difficulty that um, each one of those could represent, and the backlinks, they have to be a really good quality because otherwise it is all for nothing. Um, once again, my name is Alex. I hope, uh, like I, said, I really hope you find this information useful. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, and thank you for watching.